Capricorn, hello, beautiful souls. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. So Capricorn, I'm going to just dive right on into your message here, looking at your energy here in meditation prior, and then we'll get into the Oracle cards and tarot cards. Uh, a few things came through, very interesting messages, to be honest with you. I did have to do a little bit of looking some things up online, and I'm still not, uh, there's not a concrete, I guess, message with some of these symbols that came through. So uh, we'll explore that a little bit further in, in the reading. If you're new here, welcome, you guys. Thank you for joining me. If you're returning, it's good to see you again. I hope you're doing well and taking care of yourselves, okay? My Capricorn friends. Um, meditation. So the first thing that I was shown was a very rudimentary um, martini glass. I noticed that I kept trying to make it more defined, like 3D, or give it a little bit more definition, and it wanted to stay in this very two-dimensional 8-bit land. It actually pulled me into the realm of Wreck-It Ralph, the movie, the Disney movie Wreck-It Ralph from there. And the message that I got was actually this, this pursuit of something, X, X, Y, Z, whatever this is we're looking at here. In the movie, he was all, all he ever wanted really was to belong, right? <laughs> he wanted to be involved with, with what was going on with the other occupants there in the penthouse. But he was not welcome. He had to sleep in the in the um, pit, whatever that's called, the garbage pit, <laughs> okay? So he's pursuing this, really, this sense of belonging. And he's thinking that it means this, like to be this or to experience something in this way means that I then belong. And what he finds along the way is that his family or where he belonged was not anywhere near where he thought it was in the first place. So that portion of the message is starting to come through for me. So connecting that to the martini glass for I think for some of you, there is something about maybe a martini specifically that is a message for you, the drink. <laughs> um, there is a portion of the message coming through that um, like maybe something and it doesn't have to be alcohol specifically, but something isn't as as it as fun as it seemed or was in the first place. There's something that's shifting and you guys are noticing uh, maybe a need to shift with that perspective as well. Because I did have a symbol come through in meditation that I channeled for Taurus a while back. So we'll talk about that here in a second. And that involves a shift of perspective. So I think this is where we're going. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, what you're searching for is not where you think it is. So power of perspective. I'll show, well, I'll finish this up and then I'll show you this. So the next part that I was shown was actually a chromosome um splitting off into their individual autosomes so our genetic material this happens when we go through um mitosis right cell cell division so um that's where i was a little bit like <laughs> uh what is the message i've been shown that before with like division and, and fertility and things but not in this way so it seemed very particular and i'm very cautious about getting into health stuff in particular so this may mean something to someone in, um in particular these breaking off what i got from it and looking things up is that because this doesn't feel like a natural action. It doesn't feel complete. It doesn't feel like a cell is dividing. To have the two, two pieces branch off from each other is not, unless there is a full pair, it's, it's not uh, useful to us and can actually, can do nothing or it could do something, <laughs> right? So um, what I'm getting is something, it could be health-wise for some of you, where there is a condition you're dealing with where those autosomes have done some weird things something genetically. Um, if you are in a place where you're trying to figure things out, I'm not a doctor, I'm not giving medical advice, but if this resonates with somebody, maybe ask your doctor about something in that realm. Uh, it does feel like a breakdown though of some sort, something behaving unnaturally. Um, and I'm not sure if this has an effect or yet, okay? Okay, you guys, this, this is the weird part of the message where I'm not really sure. <clears throat> pardon so we'll get a little bit further into that i'm hoping that there is a connection that makes a bit more sense as we get into tarot so the symbol here um like i said this was yes taurus 
So this one is called the power of perspective. I'm going to show this to the camera here. You can pause it, draw it out so you can use its function. So the instructions with this sigil are to play, to play, to play around with where it is that you want to put it. So dealer's choice here, you guys, you get to decide where it is that you want to put this symbol on your mirror, in your pocket, um, in your bra, I don't know, <laughs> in your left shoe, um, anywhere that you feel that this will be most beneficial to you. The intention of this is to help elevate you, just like you can see with the symbol, to help elevate you to a particular position where you can get a little bit more of a bird's eye view on something. And I feel like in the first part of the message that you know something is not where you think it is initially, love that that was coming through too. So the point of right now for you guys is to see, I don't know, where your treasure is or to see that you may be looking in the wrong area, okay? All right, let's get into Oracle cards and then tear it. So I do feel called to start with the Wild Unknown archetypes here. Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn? What messages do we have for Capricorn? I feel what, two? Oh, three? Okay. All right. For Capricorn here, please, Spirit. Whew. If I can hold on to things. Like that's not you do want the top one, okay. Because I could flip it over and look at it. Ooh, the crown. Oh, interesting. I just saw um, the, uh, why am I forgetting the name? Star of David, but it's the Seal, Seal of Solomon. Excuse me. Uh, the Seal of Solomon. I just I literally just saw that shape before um, starting your reading here, before hitting record. Okay. So the crone, keep shuffling here. The crone is the last archetype in the Maiden, Maiden uh, Mother Crone series there. The crone is definitely a very powerfully magic archetype, very misunderstood as well. I get this like, it's this energy of you can't you can't really understand it until you are with it. Um, and I feel like that's very intentional too. So you could be at the end of something. Mm, oh, interesting. The animal and the mirror. Okay. Let's look at this. <laughs> um, you could be at the tail end of something. Maybe you are getting to that season in your in your life. But this feels like being 13 as well, uh, connected to the death card and the tarot. Something coming to the end of a cycle, and I'm, I am being drawn back to the, the chromosome there splitting. Because I do kind of, as I was looking into things, I do kind of get this vibe of a connection to the parents in some way. That's where, you know, we're pulling an autosome for each, from each parent and creating a set of chromosomes for the baby. Um, something maybe coming to a close or, or splitting off um, to do with with parents either literally or connection to traits maybe you're ooh breaking generational trauma ooh yeah i'm getting some some chills on that being drawn back to the seal of solomon here uh very protective symbol i feel like you're being shown here that you do have you okay slow it down something about glue what about that Okay, we are the glue that's holding you together. Interesting. So um, I feel like this is your your spirit team. Okay, your maybe even ancestors. Hmm? Like you're being you're being held together, uh, either in a bubble or however you want to visualize that as some things are coming apart. But these things need to come apart. That chromosome coming apart, like that needed to come apart. Ooh. Okay. What I'm seeing is it flipping. So it comes apart here and then it's flipping and coming back together. Um, interesting. Let's get a little bit further into that. So with the animal and the mirror coming through here too. Uh, animal energy. This is, this is in reference to the animal component of our nature. 
if we need a reminder that we are still animals, <laughs> uh, all we really need to do is like look at our body, right? Uh, there's many different things about this corporeal form <laughs> that show us we are indeed part animal. Um, this is drawing me back to like a genetic component of some sort. Going back to a time before there was intelligence. Interesting, you guys. Like the physical intelligence of evolution that was provided by your lineage is being upgraded by something very deeply magic and spiritual. Cool. <laughs> I got chills on that too. An ascension of sorts, if you want to look at it that way. Okay, cool. The mirror here as well. Um, what's actually coming through is that, uh, I guess Christina Aguilera is saying it both times, uh, reflection from Mulan. Uh, what is the line there? When will my reflection show who I am inside? I feel like this is an experience that is a human experience, but uh, this may even be something that's been in your conscious experience recently where you are looking in the mirror and going like, this isn't um, either because you're aging, the person that's staring back at you is not familiar to you. And there is this conscious or unconscious thought that's coming through over like, when will my outside reflect what's going on in my inside? And it doesn't have to just be the body. It could be your life in general. That's taking me down a really interesting rabbit hole <laughs> energetically of there's a component. Okay, hold on. Whatever's being shifted here from animal to higher spirit with the animal to crone, this is allowing, this is allowing the reflection to catch up to what's going on inside. Okay, let's get further into this, you guys. <laughs> All right. Um, it was a little deeper than I thought it was going to go, but here we go. Uh, we'll do some wild unknown animal spirit for you guys as well. Elephant, yes, you guys, woo. Um, Sting right here at the bottom as, as well. The stingray is about having support. Like it talks about its its spine, standing up straight, feeling that feeling that strength and support. What that's saying to me is, like I was saying before, like there's something about we are the glue that's holding you together. That support is here, and you're being reminded of that. So the elephant, this is connected to getting obstacles out of the way, blowing shit out of the water. So. Love all of this connection so far, honestly, you guys. Um, something that has been blocked. And this feels like, um, like even genetically, because it's been passed down through your, through your uh, lineage. Cool. Okay. Let's get into your tarot messages. Exciting. Let's see where this is going to go. Um, Spirit, what do we have here for Capricorn? This is the Light Sears tarot we'll be starting with. What in the hell is going on for Capricorn? <laughs> tower here at the split. Well, I'm going to be honest, having the elephant and, and tower coming through here, hermit here in reverse on the other side, it feels like your next step requires you to be in a solitary place, not isolated, not, you know, disconnected or severed connection wise from other people, but this obstacle or obstacles that are being blown apart, and I see that with the tower too, this is an obstacle that's that's coming down, getting out of the way. This requires you to, to be solid in yourself, which requires some time maybe away from distractions, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Uh, huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a link in the description, there's also a button right next to the subscribe below this video. Um, let's see. 
private readings also open and available. If you want to check out my website, there's a link in the description too. I have been dealing with my own health stuff here recently, you guys, these past few weeks. So please forgive my, my brain and whatever is blowing up around my eyes. <laughs> We're trying to figure it out. So hopes and dreams, king of wands here at the bottom. Yeah, totally. You guys are hoping to have um, access, okay, access to the freedom to move, okay? So something has been feeling restrictive, maybe even keeping you in a place, work, stale relationships, old thought patterns as well. What you're wanting is that energy to like to bust through. I'm getting the, the elephant again to bust through what has been feeling restrictive or like a block. God, yeah, that chromosome flipping, that autosome flipping is uh, standing out to me again. Let's get into this. Let's figure out where we're going here. <laughs> like I said, deeper than I was expecting here, Spirit, but thank you. We'll do it. I'm up to it. Um, this is the This May Hurt Tarot. We'll use as your second deck here. What do we have going on for Capricorn, please, Spirit? This is a general message, so please keep that in mind. Use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and leave the rest behind. Eight of Pentacles just came uh, flying right on out there. So this could have something to do with work. Like I was saying with the tower coming through here in the elephant, something does feel a little bit crunchy work-wise. Um, for more of you, maybe this is where you're feeling this restriction. Hmm? Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Check out your rising moon Venus and the other major placements in your chart for a more complete picture of your story. The chariot in reverse here. So this is your fear or version. This is um, this is your your way through. OK, the positive forward movement that you're you're looking for. Busting through whatever block. This is the motion that you are wanting to participate in. Moving to a new area, changing jobs. Um, this could just be forward movement with with your health. With um, I'm getting school too. That's interesting. Moving forward with school, being in reverse here though, in your anxiety and fear. There's this fear that this is never going to be possible. You won't bust through this block, whatever it is. I kind of feel like you don't even know what the block is, or maybe that you're even blocked. <laughs> You're just attempting to do something and noticing that it's not happening and it's it's getting frustrating. So something is definitely blocked. OK, so let's examine that a little bit further. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, Eight of Swords in reverse here comes out in your general to start. So Eight of Swords here is uh, like feeling trapped, feeling stuck. This is a trap of the mind, though, especially being in reverse here, the message coming through is there's more there's more um, of your participation that's involved in keeping you stuck here than you realize. And I think that's why this message of like, we are the glue that's holding you together here. Because there's this, like you need to spin out a little bit here. Not forever, but you need to spin out to a degree where you're, where you're losing, um, energy, maybe even getting to that point of feeling frustrated. The intention of that is for you to see that you need to turn your wheel somewhere else instead of spinning out in where you are here. So let yourself get tired, I guess, is kind of what's coming through. Like your spirit team wants you to get tired so it can go, have you had enough? <laughs> can we talk about maybe, you know, changing vehicles or going in a different direction is what I'm getting. Okay, cool. <laughs> Totally. Uh, the Fool comes through here in reverse as well with the Eight of Swords. So dovetailing off of what I was just saying there, your team right now, your your spirit leaders are trying to show you where, where you can start new, start fresh, where the... Um, where the good trails are here, okay, the good trails to hike. The Fool is about starting a new journey. There's faith that's needed and required to take this step. Being in reverse here, both of these coming in reverse, I'm feeling block, okay? This new journey, that path that you're looking to uh, take part in is there, but it's not in the direction that you're heading right now. And the block is, um, 
I feel I feel like the block is uh Okay, how do I explain that? To have that just flop so easily, it makes me feel like it's uh maybe not literally the chromosome, but what that's what spirit's trying to show me is something that is passed down um genetically. Okay? Something that is in your genes but can be flop like flopping the story is kind of what I'm getting. There's something that you are telling yourself, you have been told generationally that needs to be flipped on its head, okay? And and spirit's trying to show you how to do that. But it does feel like there's a little bit of uh kind of maybe even flailing out a little bit like a wild animal here for a second. But you are being held in a in a way where it's safe to do that, okay? Okay, let's keep going. So good stuff for you. Right now, you have Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Um, this Seven of Pentacles is about patience and waiting for your crops to come in. I do, I, I do feel like, again, blocked energy. This is the reversals are feeling more like a blockage here, especially with the elephant coming in. So, along with you being held, the things that you've put effort into growing, putting seeds out tending the crops, what have you, um, those are all still growing. That's being held safely too. But the process of it breaking soil and becoming usable to you, helpful, is not accessible yet because there's a need for you to see that the direction that you're heading is not quite the right direction. Not that there's a right or wrong direction, but it's not the right direction for what it is that you're asking for or maybe manifesting in life. There's a pivot that needs to happen in order for you to move to that. And spirit is coming through here and saying, yeah, we're hearing that you're wanting to manifest. That you're, you're looking for your purpose. You're looking for your community. You're looking for where it is that you feel that you belong. I need you to let go of your expectations on where that is so that I can lead you to it. Okay. There's something generationally, familially, if that's a word, um, that is maybe predisposing you to move in a specific direction, which is not where XYZ that you're looking for is. So we need to flip that. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. 2233 on the timer there. Temperance in reverse too. Um, who was it? I did Scorpio the other day. All came out in reverse too. And the message that came through on that was also like a block. These all flip over. The second that you're pointed in the right direction. So being in your good stuff here, this is a reminder that you are being guided and protected, first of all. Your angels, if that's how you want to look at it, your spirit team's here for you. They got your back. Uh, but this is peace, harmony, balance, the flow, alchemy, taking something that was one way and turning it into something else. I very much get uh, like the path that you're heading off right now, just kind of I get this feeling of like trailing off into I can't quite feel it anymore. There is an expectation to take this path. And I feel like eventually <laughs> what I'm seeing is uh, on Mario Kart where you're pulled up. If you fall off the map, you're pulled up by um, whatever that character is on the cloud <laughs> and uh, and you get to continue moving on. That's kind of what I'm seeing here is. If you continue down this path, there's a point where eventually you're just going to fall off because that path wasn't isn't meant to be continued on. They're not making updates for that program anymore. So you'll be pulled to that path regardless. Eventually, these will flip over eventually. But this is trying to save you some frustration and, and time, maybe even get, getting you onto that path sooner. OK, so what you don't see coming, what's in the dark? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. What you don't see is that there are all of the opportunities, everything that you could possibly imagine participating in, partaking in, in this material realm. This is what's hiding in the dark. All possibilities. That, that um, particle and wave function, right? This is the wave function. What you don't see is that it's possible to collapse any possibility into reality. 
that process of moving you on to the um, the other path here, that flipping flipping the script. I'm I'm getting that um, this animal component, the ego, the animal component is really fighting back right now, hard, like animal backed into a corner kind of thing. Oh, interesting. What I'm seeing is like a dog seeing itself in a mirror, okay, animal mirror, um, and going at it thinking that it's uh, an attack or a beta fish in a mirror, thinking that that is something to attack. Oh, interesting. So for some of you, I'm feeling there are components of yourself that like when you do look in the mirror, that, that whole um, when will the... When will my reflection show who I am inside? Um, some of you may be attacking yourself in a really rude way, in a mean way. This could be that component of uh, genetic pass down as well. Maybe your family have always been that way where they are very mean to themselves. That doesn't make it right. <laughs> okay. And for some of you, this does feel like that's the block. That behavior, that dialogue has to change. Even in putting yourself once you get onto this new path, and I feel like it's going to happen no matter what, if you're not changing what that dialogue that needs to change what you're being shown here, you're gonna have a bad time, you're just going to continue to veer off the road, you'll keep being put back on, but you're not getting to where you want to go. Like the way that you're speaking to yourself is um, the way your wheels are aligned, okay? There's an alignment. Yeah, an alignment that needs to happen. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Go get an alignment, okay? <laughs> Eight of Pentacles comes out here in, in the upright. So this actually flew out while we were shuffling earlier. Um, and what you don't see coming, what's in the dark here is what I feel is... Uh, what I'm hearing is hidden and special passion interesting there's something about if let's say it's the dialogue the way that you're speaking to yourself you've been taught that behavior is thwarting your ability to see something very special inside of you that's a passion maybe you're aware of something that needed to or that you stopped participating in in the past maybe you're not I feel like for more of you, you're, you're just not aware of something. What I'm seeing is like the, the, um, the dwarves whistle while you work. Okay. What I'm kind of, what I'm getting from this passion is, um, actually passionate about you, like with the mirror and the, the animal and all that stuff. Are you passionate about you? Like truly? I feel like that's what spirit's trying to get you to see here. And I'm not talking about from a more surface level, ego level of like caring about yourself. Of course I care about myself. Like that's not what I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about more from the side of the crone. Being passionate about your experience here, really truly getting to that point of feeling without words, your value as an experience, not what your body looks like, not what your skin looks like, not what your weight is, not what any of that, any of that gender, anything. Okay. That's kind of what this is feeling like to me. Spirit is trying to get you to that point of feeling and value doesn't even feel like quite the right word. Your gravity. Ooh, your gravity. Are you passionate about your own gravity? Ooh, <laughs> got all the chills there. Well, you're being directed here to have that experience, okay? So surrender is definitely a part of this. I'm just seeing this like open up, open up to, um, ooh. So I had heard, I don't remember where I heard it the other day either. Divine intervention. Divine intervention happens to those who are ready for divine intervention to happen. And what that means is 
sometimes we're not, <laughs> maybe we're not actually fully open. We may think like, oh, I need a miracle, like please intervene, but we're not really thinking totally what that means. If the divine is going to come in and intervene in our life, we're not going to be happy about it for a minute. <laughs> it's not going to be a comfortable experience because growth is happening and growth comes from discomfort or pain even. It doesn't come when we're feeling great. <laughs> Those moments are awesome too. We want, you know, we want to experience that in life, but that's what this is feeling like. I mean, you may have even be asking for some sort of intervention. So the message that's coming through here is, are you sure that's what you want? <laughs> I think ultimately it is, but there's a request to be, to be, um, what am I trying to say there? My poor brain. I know Mercury just went out of retrograde here the other day, but uh, you have to you have to be willing or ready to accept and to own whatever happens once an intervention happens. You have to be ready for that change. Are you ready for that that change? Because if you are, it feels like it's available here. Okay, you guys. Divine intervention, love that. Yep, with the elephant too, Ganesh here, Ganesha, blowing those obstacles away. Make sure that this is really, uh, really what you want, okay? I feel like it is, like I said, but you need to let go of anything that you feel is keeping you safe because you're gonna be moved somewhere where it doesn't make sense. You're not, like I was saying in the, in the meditation, what you're searching for is not in the direction that you, you think it is. So if you're ready to move to where it is, this is available, but it requires that you buckle up. <laughs> okay. I think it's a good thing ultimately, but just don't be disillusioned that this is going to be a Disney movie. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So your obstacle right now, the difficulty that you're having or will have, the wheel. Yes. Uh, the wheel wheel turns. This is about change. Change is the only constant. Change is the inevitability. Our responsibility when the wheel turns is to respond in ways that are healthy or best for our progress as a soul and to hopefully not harm others as much as possible along the way. So it feels like, like I was saying, this. it feels like a divine intervention, you guys. This is available, but it's kind of, it's coming with a, um, like sign here, uh, not necessarily cash on delivery, but <clears throat> signatures required. Okay. Signatures required for this package to be delivered here for you to be delivered. The wheel truly is turning in your favor, but, or, and it may not look like that or feel like that immediately from the outside is what I'm getting here. And I don't think it will, but that's a part of, of surrendering to the wheel. We're not controlling the wheel turning. It's turning. That intervention's coming. So accept it with open arms here. I truly feel like this is a, a beautiful, beautiful energy that's coming into your guys' lives here. Um, but with that tower, you know, that was there at the split too, it may, you may feel a pinch. <clears throat> Something may hurt. But I'd also wager that things hurt right now. So open up. Let it in. I think it'll be a really, really good thing. Knight of Cups comes in here to clarify the wheel. So <clears throat> in your difficulty, I feel like this is um, like letting your cup be filled and not in the way of something superficial, you know, like just scratching that itch. This is more allowing the cup to be filled. Okay. And then also the process of passion, the passion towards you as an experience here. Knight of Cups can be like dating yourself to me sometimes. So yeah, makes sense. Being in the difficulty, part of your difficulty right now is truly getting down to brass tacks and feeling that passion for yourself as an experience. Okay. Is there anything else here at Mudra? We didn't do a Mudra card for you to start. <clears throat> I'm going to pull a mudra card here and then we'll close off the reading. So this is uh, mudras are hand signs or symbols that direct energy in our hands to produce desired effects through meditation, that sort of thing. 
Um, after this here, so what do we have here for Capricorn, please, Spirit? I am going to go into an extended reading. If you guys want to join me there, you're more than welcome. I have links in the description of the video that will take you to either individual for sale or you can check out the third level of my membership and have access to all of them. Okay. So what does Capricorn need at this time energy wise? Do you want this one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was just like, I don't know how it was sticking out in that way. <clears throat> Courage. Mm -hmm. Show yourself what's in you. Hey. So I'm going to read the back here. Durga Mudra. This anti-panic mudra is dedicated to the invincible goddess Durga. She rides a snarling lion, and in each of her many hands, she holds a weapon. These she uses to terrible effect, killing her enemies or putting them to flight. In a case of panic attack, it is important to restrain your inhalation and intensify your exhalation. Keep your hands tightly pressed, stand with slightly bent knees, and concentrate on the soles of your feet. Visualize yourself as the weapon-wielding, screeching Durga. Your appearance alone will ensure the respect of the others. Does this conception simply make you chuckle? All the better. What tries to frighten me is nothing more than a ghost, which I chase away with a single glance. Yes. Love it, you guys. So, courage. It's, it's time to take some courage here. Why? Because we're talking about you. One of the best reasons to take courage, to take a path that may be uncomfortable, okay? On the other end of that, though, I'm seeing like a funnel. You're coming into the realm that you are asking to operate in. So have faith in that. There's some heavy-duty artillery, it feels like, here that is working in your favor. Not only are you being held in a safe space, well... So you can flail while you're experiencing this. But at the end of all of that, as, as you're taking courage and coming back home to you, the reward is you're being moved into the world that you want to live in. Okay. I love you so much, Capricorn. And I hope that this is helpful. Like I said, I'll be moving into an extended if you guys want to join me there. Links are in the description. I do have personal readings available. If you want to check those out, website's in the description too. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support the growth of this channel. And I truly appreciate it, you guys. I could not, literally, could not do this without you. So um, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. In the extended reading, I'm going to go into direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and what's most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. If you do feel this reading resonated with you, I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description for tips or donations. It is not mandatory, but to those who have supported the channel in that way, please know that I'm deeply grateful and it goes a very, very long way. Okay, I love you all. Please take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Be well.